Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Chicken Parm Sandwich. Well, you guys are familiar with chicken parm. It's that dish of breaded chicken cutlet that's fried up and then covered in tomato sauce and cheeses. It's delicious. Well, that's what we're doing today, but we're doing it on a sandwich between two pieces of ciabatta bun that have been turned into garlic bread. I can't wait to get into it, so let's jump right in. So we're gonna start with the chicken. I've got a couple of big old ugly, <laughs> boneless, skinless chicken breasts here that we need to get these kind of filleted out and pounded down so they're thin and even in size so they'll fry up quickly. So I'm gonna start just by trimming the edges here. And the thing about you know chicken breasts is you never know how big or little uh, you might get one that's bigger and one that's little or in the same package. So you may see a little size difference today, but we'll try to keep it fairly uniform. As far as cleaning these things up go, I'm just taking any hard bits or fat off the edges. This one actually has a little bit of the rib meat attached to it. We're not going to be able to use that as a part of our cutlet, so we'll just trim that off. And then you can kind of see you've got the mass of your breast, a bit of tender there, but we can kind of use all of that. So what I want to do now that we've got it cleaned up, now it's cleaned up, is we're going to actually split this horizontally so it's nice and thin. So I'm going to come in with my knife kind of right in the middle here, just keep it level, pressure. You can kind of just peel that back. And then you can either go all the way through this or you can pound it out just as one large piece. I'll leave that up to you. But for now, we've got it mostly even. We'll finish the rest of the work with a meat mallet. But we're going to throw this in a little marinade to start getting some tenderness and some flavor on it. So before we get these in the marinade, we're going to do the pounding here. And the best way I've found to do this is to get yourself a big old zip top bag, put a little bit of oil in it to make sure that the chicken doesn't stick and rip. And then you're gonna slide your chicken in there, grab your mallet, and start to work on the thickest parts first. So you wanna use some force, but you have to be intentional about it. Uh, you can't just smash the heck out of it because it will just completely fall apart. And especially these parts where you know, you've already got some tears, I'm just gonna stay away from that. But I want this about a half inch thick in the end. And you may find that you've kept your breasts together until you get to this point and you're gonna separate them uh, as you pull it out of here because these fibers do start to tear and get a bit more delicate. If it holds together, you wanna do it all as one big piece, that's great. If it splits right down the center, no big deal. So in a shallow dish, I'm gonna pour in some of our Smoke on Wheels barbecue marinade. Uh, and this has got a great flavor base for what we're doing today. Think about it's the fat that's in it. We've got some olive oil in here. We've got some lemon flavor going on, plenty of garlic, fresh thyme. All of these things are gonna work great with chicken parm. So we just wanna get a coating of this marinade on the chicken. And because it's so thin, it doesn't need to sit long. I mean, 15 minutes or so, you'll really start to affect the flavor. And that's how we're gonna actually be seasoning our chicken today. All right, so let's set that aside and start to work on our sauce. Today we're gonna be cooking on the Napoleon Prestige 500 and we're really gonna put this infrared side burner to work starting with this tomato sauce. So we're gonna start by lighting this up with the Staub four quart Dutch oven on here. Let it warm up for just a moment and then get some oil in there. So we're gonna start off with about a tablespoon of olive oil down here. It's gonna throw in just a good pinch of red pepper flakes. We're also gonna be adding some garlic and to really make this easy to just break it down, we're just gonna do it right here on the microplane. Minces it down super fine. Get a couple cloves in here. 
All right, so we're just gonna let this garlic warm through as well. Before it starts to brown, we're gonna add our tomatoes. And for the tomatoes, we're using our San Marzano tomatoes. Typically, these come whole. I've already pureed them down. Well, one whole can of that. We'll do a little shake of some kosher salt. And we can adjust this a little later, but just to get started, we'll bring that to a simmer, lower the heat, and just let it thicken up a bit. So you can see we've also got our griddle set up inside of the Napoleon. Uh, we're gonna be toasting our garlic bread on the griddle today. And then we've got some extra space for warming off to the right. For now, I'm gonna adjust this down to like medium, medium low heat on the griddle. We'll leave the flames off on the side for now. Now while that sauce is simmering away, we're gonna whip up some garlic butter to make our garlic bread. So we're gonna start with one stick of unsalted butter. We're gonna add to that about two tablespoons of our olive oil. And then just like we did in the sauce, we're gonna grate some fresh garlic, mince down super fine on the microplane. We wanna get about two teaspoons in here. Then it's just a shake of that kosher salt and then we'll mix it up. So just mash that up with a fork until it's all incorporated. So we're gonna go ahead and get this garlic butter onto our bread. And the bread we're using today is these ciabatta rolls. So we're just gonna split these like a bun. I mean, this will actually be like one serving. Um, they kind of come double wide. You could use ciabatta, you could use a French bread, or baguette, a sub roll, whatever you want. So we're just gonna spread that right on the cut sides. And then we can set these aside. They'll be ready to go on the griddle when our chicken's ready to go in the skillet. All right, so the sauce is really thickened up now. It really only takes about 10 or 15 minutes of gentle simmering. Uh, we don't want it too thin, not too thick. You can kind of check out the consistency. Pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and go through the process of breading the chicken. So instead of egg wash today, we're just gonna use the liquid from our marinade. It's gonna serve the same purpose. We've also got some flour that's gonna help some of this breading stick. And then we're gonna do a panko topping to go on the outside. About two cups of panko three quarters of a cup of Parmesan, and then we're gonna use a quarter cup of our Italiano seasoning. Lots of great Italian herbs and spices in here, as well as that salt. Also gonna get some saltiness out of the Parmesan itself. So the way we're gonna handle this, since it's already sitting in this marinade, I'm gonna gently pick this up, and we're gonna strip off a lot of that marinade from the surface. Honestly, you could do this without the flour step, just go right into the panko, but I like that extra layer. So we go right into the flour. Just gonna get that covered. Then we're gonna dip it back in the marinade. And then we go to the panko. We wanna make sure we've got all of that surface covered with the crusty panko and our seasoning. Land that on our sheet pan for now and it's fine to sit until we finish the rest of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're gonna set this up for our pan fry. I'm just gonna pop it up a little bit higher to give us a little bit more distance from the infrared burner. So we're gonna place a 10 inch skillet on here. Fire this back up. And we'll let it preheat over medium high heat. 
Now at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid to the skillet in the grill and we're gonna turn these burners on underneath it to about medium. I want this to be really hot because eventually I'm gonna try and melt the cheese on top of the chicken on the skillet using this lid. So we want heat coming off the lid as well as underneath from the skillet. All right, so this skillet's getting nice and hot. We're gonna come in with about a tablespoon of butter, about a tablespoon or two of oil. We'll let this stuff get melted down. And we do this for the flavor, so we get that nice buttery flavor, but the same great olive oil flavor. We're not co cooking super hot here, so we're safe to use some olive oil to work that flavor in. And we're not gonna do like a shallow fry. This is just a pan fry with a little fat in the bottom. So we're gonna come in here and land our first filet. We want some nice bubbling around the edges like that, but it shouldn't be going wild. All right, so it only takes a few minutes to get that browning going. And remember this is a thin piece of meat, so it doesn't take that long to cook. Now once we get that initial flip, immediately I'm gonna hit it with some sauce. I'm also turning the heat down to low at this point. And then we're gonna top it off with some fresh mozzarella. And you want that really fresh stuff. Not the low moisture, the good stuff. Now we're coming in hot with that hot lid right on top. All right, we're gonna get our first ciabatta bun on the griddle here. We need, let's see, that's gonna be about two servings for the first one, so this will be perfect. All right, it's been a few minutes, let's have a peek. Oh yeah, mozzarella's melting nice on top. Take a peek at the underside. Great brown color on the underside. You know, just to finish this off, we're gonna get a little browning on the mozzarella with our propane torch. And I, I'm not gonna get too close. I wanna see that bubbles, the bubbles and the cheese start to form. There we go. And just a little bit of browning. That's it though. This thing is ready to come out of the skillet. All right, so first round's coming out of the skillet. We're gonna do this one more time so we can prep at least four sandwiches all the way through. Uh, so we'll reset this. I'm gonna wipe out the skillet. We'll start fresh with new butter and new oil. So ciabatta is super soft. It's warmed up, great crisp on the top. We're gonna hit it now with just a little bit of provolone and set this off to the side to let the provolone melt. Low heat on this right side of the grill right now. We can actually force a little more heat over the top by turning on the infrared burner in the back. Now this is designed for the rotisserie, but it shoots the heat right over the top. So when you close this down, pushes it right onto the top of the cheese. All right, round two. Nice, already getting some nice meltiness on the provolone. We're gonna add the second round of buns to the griddle. All right, these are good, ready to come off. All right, got some great browning going on. Get this flipped over. Immediately wanna hit that with our tomato sauce. Fresh mozzarella on top. Turn that heat all the way down now. That's sizzling away. We might even shut it off so that we can get some nice melting on the mozzarella here without overcooking it from the bottom. Fly in the lid again. And just let that sit and melt. Coming back to our ciabatta. 
Great crispiness on that. Move it off to the side and hit it with the provolone. I love this provolone flavor, it's so funky. Something really different than the mozzarella and the Parmesan. All right, cheese is melted. You really don't have to check internal temperatures on these at the rate that we're cooking them, but I guarantee you this will already be at 160 at this point. You can check it for your peace of mind if you like, but as thin as it is, it's pretty safe. We're ready to build our sandwiches. One last thing before we do that, just gonna slice up some of these Calabrian chilies to add a, a little extra kick to our chicken parm sandwich. So we're gonna take this big beautiful cutlet, chicken parm and slice it right down the middle. That way we can make sure it's gonna fit. We're doing double deckers, baby. Right there. Some of those chilies on top. There it is, the double serving. What a beautiful mess is that. Let's get a taste. Oh my. Hot goodness. Ooey gooey. Cheesy and delicious. Man, that mozzarella just stretches. Just packed full of flavor. I mean, with that marinade, putting all that seasoning in the breading, we really packed it in there. The textures are incredible. The way that it goes from the crunch on the bread, that outside coating on the chicken, it's not as crispy as the bread itself, but it's got great little crunch to it. And then the chicken is just juicy, falling apart. This cheesy goodness happening at the same time. Just a little bit of heat from those chilies and that's a winner. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.